Thank you, Mr. Chair, distinguished delegates, and members of civil society. The World Youth Alliance first wishes to align itself with the statement made by the NGO Committee on the Commission on Social Development made on Wednesday, February 3rd, 2010. World Youth Alliance is a global coalition of over 30,000 individual young people from over 100 countries in both the developed and developing world. Our mission is to promote the dignity of the human person in policy and culture, and to build solidarity between peoples of every nation. From this perspective, the World Youth Alliance wishes to draw the Commission's attention to the importance of families and to lessons we have learned through our grassroots work promoting solidarity as a path to social integration. Social integration, or social cohesion, is a process whereby all members of society live and work together for the common good. The common good is mutual cooperation to foster human flourishing. Social integration is an organic process that requires mutual respect for the diversity of cultures and traditions that make up the fabric of human society. This respect cannot be forced by governments or the international community, but must occur because of a profound understanding of the dignity of each and every human being and a desire to act in solidarity with one another. Young people are at the heart of social integration. They are drivers of intergenerational solidarity that is needed so desperately in both the developed and the developing world. In order to support them and encourage them in leading the way to integration based on solidarity, we need to first support their families, where young people first learn about the dignity of the human person and social integration. Families are the fundamental group unit of society, and they cannot be ignored in our efforts to find solutions to marginalization, poverty, corruption, and violence. Policies that support the family structure in order to ensure social integration are those like immigration policies that keep families together as a first priority. There are economic policies that support informal caregivers in their work. There are policies that focus on human capacity building that help parents build skills for secure employment, thus removing the temptation to send young children to work. When these policies are put in place, families will be strengthened and social integration will occur. I have experienced the unique role of family in facilitating social inclusion in my own circumstances. Several social and economic barriers led to the exclusion of my parents from the societal fabric, as they were both Portuguese immigrants to Canada with few options available to them for integration into the culture. As the son of a poor immigrant family, my exclusion at work at school took many overt and subtle forms, and I was often marked for insult and censure. However, the strong familial context in which I was brought up allowed me to feel a sense of solidarity and taught me the importance of self-gift as a means of expressing my own inherent dignity and to respect that of others. When my grandmother had begun to display a loss of mental capacity, I knew I should assist my family in providing care for her. These early lessons have led me to understand the importance of social integration, and I am here before you today as a testament to the family's importance in creating a strong sense of social responsibility. The lesson that all have inherent dignity and therefore have the right to be integrated into society, regardless of age, disposition, or capacity, was for me a lesson learned in and through the family. Thank you.